All right, guys, so we're going to finish up that second part of the workout, the main conditioning aspect. Okay, had a little bit of a storage issue with that last video, so I'm going to split it up into two here. All right, our conditioning is going to be a Tabata workout. What that means is what we're going to do is we're going to do 20 seconds of work followed by a quick 10-second rest. You're going to do that same station that we're doing four times in a row, so we'll do about half the normal Tabata set. That way it doesn't go more than 16 minutes here, okay? But what we want to do is we want to go into four main movements. We're going to do something called a thruster. We're going to do something called lunges. And then we're going to do push-ups and then use tricep dips with the chair. All right. So remember, cue is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You can use a little stop uh, watch feature on your phone. You, if you have a watch, like a smart watch or something, you can use that stop watch feature. All right. Keep an eye on that. Otherwise, there's an app on your phone. Um, a couple ones I like is one called Gym Next Flex Timer. So Gym Next Flex Timer. It's got a lot of different settings that you can use on there. I think there's a Tabata one in there or intervals that you can set up. But just do four by uh, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Okay. Otherwise, if you have a Spotify account, I think you can type in Tabata Workout Playlist. And the music will queue up probably some... You know high intensity like electronic or rock um, but then it's going to have a vocal coach in through the song cueing you when to start and stop so it's a great way to kind of include have somebody else take care of the timing for you okay so the first movement we're going to do is the four by 20 seconds work all right with that thrusters so you guys are going to take a couple of soup cans or you can take the water jugs you have okay and what we're going to do is we're going to set those up in a grip that you can hold them at your shoulder height and still maintain a decent squeeze on them, okay? And what I want to do is keep it in that front rack. So I want my elbows in front. I want those weights right over my shoulders. What you're going to do is open up your stance a little bit like a squat. You're going to do a full squat all the way down, keeping that chest up. And then we're going to drive up, and we're going to push overhead, full lockout. So the weights are going to go up from the shoulders, all right, overhead. And you're going to go ahead and get into the sequence, getting as many as you can in, in 20 seconds. All right, the heavier those weights are, or the faster you move through these reps, okay, the higher your heart rate's gonna get. You don't need much for weight to make that kind of hard, okay? If you need to have a chair behind you to sit to, that's fine as well, all right? If you need to use that weighted backpack, you can hold it in the center and press it over the center of your face, okay? Next we're gonna do is lunges. So this is after those four rounds. Now we have the lunges. You don't need the weights for this either, okay? You can step out sink down with that knee and then step back okay if you need some assistance you can use the backing of that chair just for a little bit of help come right by the side of it keep your hands right up here step forward and use that hand pressure to keep into it what i would do is 20 seconds on that right leg okay and then when you get that brief brace that sorry that brief break you're going to switch over to that left side of the chair okay move to the leg Try to make sure that when you step, you land, you load the ankle, knee, and hip all in line with each other, and then you push back up to a standing position. If you want to make it harder, you can hold the weights right up. All right, work on stabilizing your posture as you go into those alternating movements. Okay, the last or the last two are going to be the push-ups and the tricep dips. Okay, we all know push-ups. All right, just keep in mind you can scale these in different ways. Okay. The easiest form is you can go from your knees, work on keeping your hips low, make sure your hands are behind your armpits a little bit so your elbows track back as you lower your chest. Try to get at least 90 degrees in those elbows. Keep keeping that chin back. Don't let your chin reach for the ground. Keep your chin away from the ground. Okay, guiding yourself through there. The next level is you can do an incline push-up. Okay, so you can use your chair, make sure it doesn't slip away from you. This isn't as hard as doing a full-on push-up, all right? But just make sure you have that backing kind of facing away from you. You have your hands near the edge, all right? It might feel hard, but it's not nearly as hard as if you do a traditional one, okay? So you can do the traditional push-up with your toes only, keeping your body in a nice straight line. And of course, if you want to make it harder, you can put your feet up on a sofa cushion, all right? And that way now the pressure is going to your upper pecs, it's going to feel very unstable and difficult, if, but if you're really strong, you can definitely do those uh, decline push-ups, okay? The last little bit, guys, is called the tricep dip. So the fourth movement after it, take the edge of your chair. Let's have the hips just in front. 
And for the easiest form, you're going to maintain 90 degrees in the knees. And you're going to slide your hips right in front of the chair. And notice how my hands are facing out away from the chair here. Got those elbows down 90, and then drive and lock straight up. Okay, slide down, press up, down, up. Do what you can for 20 seconds. If you want to make it harder, you can go straight legs. All right, so now you're not bending the knee. You're going to support more of your weight. Okay, that loads up the triceps more. If you need to make it harder, you can have one leg up in the air. Okay, slide down, press up. All right, guys, have fun with that. Make sure if you need to use one of those apps, you set it up, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, four rounds for those four movements each. So that's about two minutes each, eight minutes total for the conditioning. Your heart rate should be jacked up pretty good. If you wanna take 30 or 60 seconds rest after those four sets of the thrusters before moving on to lunges, please take a little bit of breather, get some water, all right? Have a good time with this. Let me know if you have questions. You can comment on the video, I'll be checking it out. If you want to connect with me, you want to see what else I'm doing, look up True Fit MN. All right, there's that Facebook page or Instagram. I'll be pushing stuff out there throughout this time. All right, trying to make sure we have a lot of content about how to stay healthy down at home using these simple equipments. I'll be working on coaching you. All right, helping you out, make the best you can. Okay, guys, have a good day. I'll see you later this week. All right, have a good one.